students in the chapter of free damped vibration this lecture is on the topic overshoot in under damped vibration systems i dr balraj singh prad from yadavindra college of engineering talwandi sabo india am presenting the lecture overshoot occurs in a single degree of freedom system with viscous damping when after subject to an initial displacement say x not the system passes through equilibrium mean position and reaches a maximum amplitude on the other side say it is denoted as x1 as shown in the plot for under damped vibration system the system was given an initial displacement x not at time is equal to 0 it its plot goes like this the system passes through the mean line goes to the other side and reaches a maximum amplitude of x1 which is known as overshoot it is observed in under damped systems only this plot shows that overshoot occurs in a spring mass damper system when the system is vibrating along one direction or single it has a single degree of freedom system and is at position x at a time t and is still moving at with velocity x dot plot is of under damped vibration system is like this then x1 is the overshoot we have to determine this overshoot in the coming slide in the determination of the overshoot we derive the relation and usually write this relation in terms of logarithmic decrement for the under damped vibration system the equation of vibration is x is equal to e raised to power zeta damping ratio omega natural frequency t bracket starts capital a a constant cosine of and root of 1 minus zeta square omega which is damped frequency up to here t plus b and another constant sine of and root 1 minus zeta square omega t boundary conditions are at time is equal to 0 initial displacement is x not is x x at 0 is x not and initial velocity is 0 at time is equal to 0 so this is the position where the initial displacement is x not system vibrates it attains a maximum amplitude on the other side which is termed as overshoot and the time taken for the overshoot is half of the damped time time period of the vibration till for completion of one cycle this was the time for damped vibration td so td we know from the relation it is 2 pi by omega d omega d is the damped fre frequency by 2 and it gives pi by omega d we will be making use of this relation in the coming slide now from the first boundary condition when time is equal to 0 displacement initial displacement is x not we put in this equation and we get x not is equal to e raised to power minus zeta omega t becomes 1 a cosine of 0 is 1 b sine of 0 is 0 this gives a is equal to x not 
so now till now we have solved a value and the time period for x1 is known as time period for overshoot which is pi by omega d we will be making use of this now we have underdamped equation x we are going to find its first derivative to find the velocity x dot first taking differential of this function and keeping the square bracket constant we get minus zeta omega e raised to power minus zeta omega t square bracket as it is plus the function as it is when we take derivative of square bracket cosine of under root 1 minus zeta square omega t becomes minus sine 1 minus zeta square omega t into 1 minus zeta square omega this term also comes from the second term it is common for both so we take this term out and inside is minus a sine 1 minus zeta square under root omega t plus b cos under root of 1 minus zeta square omega t now let us put the sec second boundary condition which is at time is equal to 0 x dot is 0 velocity is 0 when we put it in this equation x dot is 0 we get a value we have already put when when we put it in this so we get uh, minus zeta omega now what is there this term becomes 1 cosine terms becomes 1 a is a takes the value of x naught so this is the value of a plus b sine 0 is 0 it is not there plus this e raised to power minus zeta omega t is 1 1 minus zeta square omega sine term is 0 b and this term is 1 so on this solution is like this we solve this beta comes out to be zeta x naught upon 1 minus zeta square now we know that two constants a and b we put it this equation and this equation becomes x is e raised to power equal to e raised to power minus zeta omega t this is the value of a x naught cos and root of 1 minus zeta square omega t this is the value of b zeta x naught by 1 minus zeta square sine 1 and root of 1 minus zeta square omega t x naught is common so this on simplification x becomes x naught e raised to power minus zeta omega t cos cosine of 1 minus zeta square and root omega t plus zeta by and root 1 minus zeta square sine of and root 1 minus zeta square omega t now we put the value of t time taken to reach to the overshoot which is half of the which is half of the time period when we put it and value as pi by omega d the solution becomes like like this we put the value of time pi by omega d pi by omega d now what we observe is omega d is equal to under root of 1 minus zeta square omega n or this is omega natural frequencies similarly this is omega so we observe that 1 minus zeta square omega is basically damped frequency so this term and this term cancel out similarly this term 1 under root 1 minus zeta square omega and omega d cancels out and on simplification we get and here we put the value of omega d 
which is 1 minus eta square and root omega so omega will cancel out on solution overshoot x1 is x0 e raised to power minus eta pi by 1 minus eta square cos of pi plus cos of pi plus zeta upon 1 minus zeta square sin pi now cos pi is minus 1 its value is minus 1 sin pi is 0 so the solution becomes x1 overshoot x1 is the overshoot this amplitude it is given by e is power minus eta pi upon 1 minus eta square uh, x1 is minus x0 e raised to power minus eta pi upon 1 minus eta square minus term means it is on the other side of the mean value usually in the numerical problems we are give we talk of amplitudes only so to make the relation simple let us take mod of on the both sides and the overshoot is termed as the ratio of it is to uh, it is it, uh, given in the ratio form or in percent form it is overshoot x1 divided by x0 initial displacement which becomes e raised to power minus eta pi upon 1 minus eta square or we know delta logarithmic decrement is 2 pi zeta upon 1 minus eta square so what is there this term is this term is delta by 2 so simply we can find out overshoot either from relation ratio of overshoot to the initial displacement is e raised to power minus zeta pi upon 1 minus zeta square and root but if logarithmic decrement is given it is e raised to power minus delta by 2 or putting the value of delta directly we can find out damping ratio zeta from the experiment if we observed certain overshoot x1 and initial displacement of x0 we put the value of overshoot we put the value of overshoot which is x1 modulus because we talk of the ratio of amplitudes without taking care the signs to the modulus of initial displacement take its we take its natural log we put in this relation so damping ratio we can calculate zeta which is 1 minus 1 by and root of 1 plus pi by natural log of overshoot whole square so we have got three relations overshoot from zeta overshoot from delta and damping ratio if overshoot is given we make use of these to solve different problems in the coming slide problem number one we have a spring mass damper system as shown in the figure spring is having a stiffness of 100 newton per meter mass of 4 kg damping coefficient of 20 newton second per meter assume translation motion in the x direction as shown in the figure if the initial displacement is 40 mm so this is x not value we have to get the overshoot displacement which is denoted as x1 so we have to determine x1 x naught is given k is given m is given c is given x naught is given as 40 mm first of all we determine critical damping coefficient cc which is we know two times and root of km we put value of k we put value of m we saw we get 40 newton second per meter now damping ratio zeta is the ratio of damping coefficient to critical damping coefficient 
we put put the value of c which is given to be 20 we put value of cc 40 calculated we observed that damping ratio is 0.5 so this system is under damped system as shown in this now relation to find out x1 is minus x0 e raised to power minus pi zeta upon 1 minus zeta square we have solved in the previous slides we put the value of x0 40 x0 is given to be 40 mm zeta we calculated 0.5 we saw it and what we observed is the overshoot x1 becomes minus 6.52 mm minus indicates that it is on the other side of the mean line or the equilibrium line and so this amplitude is minus 6.52 mm for the given spring mass damper system coming to the problems number two it is given that a, a shock absorber is to be designed so that its overshoot is 10% of the initial displacement. So it means x1 only amplitude we talk of forgetting about sine to x0 is 10%. 10% means 10 by 100. So it is 0 0.1 times. This is simply termed as overshoot. We have to determine damping ratio zeta. Then in the second part, we will be reducing damping ratio to one half of this value and again de determine, determine the overshoot, which will be second overshoot. So when we are reducing the zeta value, this should increase. But let us find out what is zeta, whether it is under damped system or not. So for this system, overshoot is given to be 0.1. And we solve it. Overshoot is x1 modulus to x0 is 10% is 0.1. Overshoot we have calculated to be ratio of overshoot displacement to Initial displacement is e raised to power minus zeta pi by under root of 1 minus zeta square, which is equal to e raised to power minus delta by 2. Now for the problem, overshoot is given to be 0.1. We know from the relation of logarithmic decrement delta is 2 pi zeta upon 1 minus zeta square. When we solve this, the relation we have already derived for damping ratio is zeta is 1 upon under root of 1 plus pi by natural log of overshoot its whole square. We put the value of overshoot to be 0.1 in this relation and we calculate that zeta is 0.59. It means the system is under tapped system and its profile is as given in the problem. Now, for the second part of the problem, let us reduce the damping ratio to half. New damping ratio is zeta 2. Calculated was 0.59 divided by 2. It becomes 0.295. Now, find out a new logarithmic decrement from the relation of delta which is 2 pi zeta upon under root of 1 minus zeta square 2 pi we put we put value of zeta to 0.295 we solve delta 2 becomes 1.94 now overshoot relation we have already used let us make use of this relation overshoot is e raised to power minus delta by 2 
so when we put a delta value delta 2 overshoot second second overshoot is becomes like this now we put value of delta 2 which is 1.94 and we saw that overshoot it became 0.3789 or in percent 37.89 so what we have observed is by reducing damping ratio to half the overshoot increased from 10% to 37.89% with this the lecture on overshoot in the underdamped vibration systems and different problems on the topic is complete thanks dear friends